Hey, 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 Snix here, and welcome back to another episode of Till the End. Now, you might be wondering, why am I starting the veil out here? Well, I have very, very good reasons. These sheep are driving me insane. All I ever hear is, ba ba, ba ba. I hate it. Which is why in this episode, we're gonna be creating something to contain these sheep. I'm gonna find a place far, far away from my house to build the woolly guacamole. First of all, I'm gonna need lots of white wool. Good thing I have a few bones in this chest. Now I'm not gonna need pink, yellow, blue. Look at all these white sheep. Perfect for the project. I forgot to do the snipping montage. I'm so disappointed in myself. Now, I don't know how much white wool I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna need a lot. And I probably should find some more iron, because it was a nightmare last episode, which I will go do in a sec. But first I gotta check how many likes the last video got, right after I sleep the night away. Yeah, Sleep! Yeah, Sleep! Yeah, Sleep! I just want to sleep! That's more like it. Now I can check how many blocks I get to add to my base. The veil only has 9 views, so I only expect 1 or 2 likes. Yeah, now I don't see why I was so ungrateful last episode. Now this is probably gonna be a short episode. Better get my red wool. Now, which way do I want to go out in? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go out this way a little. Well, that's another block. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this block. Maybe sell it for a million bucks. If anyone would buy it for that much, though. We'll just see what happens. But with that out of the way, I really need to solve my iron issues. And if you even think I'm gonna make an iron farm, you'd be truly mistaken. I'm not just gonna make an iron farm and hope my iron supplies goes up. No! That is not the plan for this episode. Sorry if I'm moving the camera a bit too fast for your liking. It's just so easy. See, I'm gonna get iron the old fashioned way. This looks decently promising, but this looks way, way more promising. Don't even have any torches, of course. Well, those chests have no torches, annoyingly. And the sun sang. Of course. I'll bring this bed with me so I can sleep when I get there. Yep, there's some coal right there. Okay, good. No, I'm not gonna forget that. I should probably set my spawn point because I don't want to spawn all the way back at spawn if I die in the caves. Seriously, what is the nerve of that guy? I just want to steal the precious minerals from his cave. Yikes, that's a death trap waiting for me. I think I'll go to the other cave I found. That's annoyingly looks like the other cave I found. All I gotta manage to do is not die, which is gonna be really hard, especially with a creeper here. No. Of course. The only mineral I'm here for is iron. I just want a little bit of Iron. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna die. Uh, what was that? What was that? No, 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 no. Uh, stay calm. Stay focused. Stay good. Now, I almost died. That would not have been good. Yeah, I am not prepared for the caves. Why do caves always seem so scary in the early days of your Minecraft worlds? At least they do to me. I don't know if that's a weird thing to have. I bet the footage is gonna make me look so rubbish while fighting that. I tried to move my camera a little while fighting it to make it look more cool, but that almost got me killed. So the lesson is, kids, don't try and make yourself look cool, cause you'll regret it. Well, I mean, you can if you want. You know, I probably would've been better at Minecraft Pocket Edition if I actually played. 
Minecraft Pocket Edition. All I ever played was the PS3 edition of Minecraft, and I thought that was the main version of Minecraft at the time. I didn't even know what Bedrock or Java was. I was scared of Minecraft bats. And by the way, my first death in this world was off camera. I died in this creeper hole incident. The start of the creeper hole incident. Not this ever for growing creeper hole that I keep on accidentally blowing up. Please don't think it's on purpose. And you know what? I think I'm gonna give up on the iron department. Time for the sheepies. Snip, 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 snip. Come on, grow your wool faster. I should probably plan out where the woolly guacamole is gonna go right after I go to sleep. Come on, grow your wool back faster. I don't have a month. That's how long it took me to make the last episode, by the way. This time I'm hoping I can do it in less than a week. It would be nice. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need stacks and stacks of white wool. Snip. I gotta go find somewhere to make the outline that I like. I think the woolly guacamole should go somewhere around here. Which is gonna take a lot of tree chopping. And my axe durability isn't the best. Good thing I have a spare. Dog, stay right there. I got all five of my bones. Now time to go tame that dog. And a lot of them. I want to tame you. Here. Yay. Will you tame? No. Well, there goes all my bones, you greedy little pooch. And you're no better. You took four. There were five. I could have given two to you, two to him, and one to him. That would have worked out. Hey, don't you do that at me. Come on, let's go. Come on, get inside. Yeah, that's it. Now sit. No, you are my first dog in my first videoed world in till the end. Now isn't that just lovely? I need to name you. Uh... Let me brainstorm. Hmm. What are some of your personalities? Tell me. I'll name you... Whiskers. How does that sound? Okay, no, that's a cat's name. I know you wouldn't like to be referred to a cat. The other dogs would chase you all the time. I honestly can't think of a name for this simple dog. Dog. So what am I supposed to name you? Huh? Duh. That's a terrible idea. It took so long to choose your name. The sun's setting. Sleep. Yes, I have the perfect name for you. Honey. Come along, honey. Now you may ask, why? Honey is the perfect name. I assume you're wondering too. Honey. Sorta has hunter, and honey is a food. I'm gonna use you to fetch me some food. Fetch me some food. Yes, the name's perfect. Honey has already produced a pork chop. Good job, boy. Oh, yes, you're a good boy. Oh, yeah. And I fed him the pork chop. Probably shouldn't have done that. Some pigs! Get them, honey! Perfect. This'll supply me for a bit. Honey the Hunter was a great choice. Now, the reasonable person would give Honey an orange or yellow collar, but I'm not gonna do that to my first dog. I already had food in the furnace, of course. Well, now I'll have more to supply me. Next episode, I have to dedicate to building Honey a Dog House. But this episode's mainly centered around the woolly guacamole. Sorry, honey. Now, before I got sidetracked, back to the forest problem. Uh, facing the wrong way.
that's all the trees I'm gonna need cleared out. So just gotta patch those tiny little holes though. Now I can just come over here and make the outline. I'll put it right on this hill right here. Now, I want this to be nice and big. I got the white circle done, but it took some not so great terraforming to make it happen. But uh, don't worry, it's just for now. I'll do better terraforming later. Cause I don't know about you, but I see this as pretty bad terraforming. And I'm gonna need a lot more white wool. Almost all the white wool I had's gone from this little circle. It's gonna get bigger as it extends out. So, I'm gonna need to get back to the sheep grinder. Perfect 360. Once again, if you disagree, I'll disagree to disagree about that. I don't know how I said that, but I think I just agreed to the fact that that wasn't a perfect 360. At least I'll be keeping my sheep nice and far away from my town. This is gonna be a town, by the way, if you don't know. Or rather, village, because it's gonna be pretty small. This is where the main base is gonna be. Snip. 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 Now you can see how much 35 wool will get me right after I give this sheep a little... Hey, no one dodges the great snip. Thank you for your great kindness and eating some grass so I can snip you again, sir. Snip. Anyways, let's see how far 39 gets me. That surprisingly did more than I was expecting. But still, that was a lot of wool I just used there. Well, it was nothing over a stack, but it was still a lot. I'm gonna need a lot more wool where that came from. And I'm not doing another wool gathering time lapse. It went horribly wrong last episode. That's not even looking that good. Uh, I, I can fix it though. In this episode, I'm going in blind without a plan, so it might not look the best. Snip, 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 snip. I need a tiny bit more wool to finish the circle. But anyways, since I need so much white wool, I think it's time I go get some more. Now, you see, I have a problem. I hear monsters down there. Now, you see, I'm planning to get rid of these annoying noises, but I did not encounter for new annoying noises. You know how I covered up a cave last episode to make way for the burger shop? Well, now I can hear witches and zombies. So I should probably dig up wherever this is. Uh, nope. I'm so gonna die, aren't I? Somewhere around here. I thought it was right here at least, though. I guess it wasn't. I'll deal with that in the next episode if it starts to bother me again. I'm pretty sure this is an entrance to the cave, so maybe I can deal with it right now. Nope. This is not the cave. But I can hear monsters somewhere. I'll just deal with it in the next episode. Right now, I got a woolly guacamole to make. I finally got this ring done, but of course it's becoming nighttime. I'll just quickly remove the dirt. Mobs are gonna spawn, creepers are gonna blow up everything, and it's gonna be all my fault. Snip. 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 And by the way, for your information, I'm not turning that brown sheep white. It took me way too long to get. Snip. And so I've decided to give this brown sheep a name. Would you focus for just a sec? Brownie. Pretty suing, if you ask me. Snip. I don't think I have enough wool to finish the woolly guacamole. Maybe at least half of it. I think that looks pretty good chubby, but I think I can fix it. Ah, I've made it worse. Much, much worse. Okay, it's staying like that. I'll at least go one layer higher. Still looking very boxy. 
Oh, wait, that's supposed to be a ball, so like a half spear. Should've known. Mm, no. I have made the situation far, far worse. There's no way to make that look good. Flat it is. It's guacamole time, and it's nacho time too. Snip, 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 snip. I certainly did not succeed in making a good looking ball, but it's literally as far as my building skills will take me, so I'm good. If I was smart, I would design this in a creative world first, like I did with the burger shop. I actually looked like I knew what I was doing when I was building that. I do not look like I know what I'm doing while I'm building this. I'll add in some of the guacamole just to get an idea of what this thing's gonna look like. So yeah, it's just gonna be guacamole stacking up so our random like. It is not looking good from below. Neither from a distance. Hopefully when it's done it looks good because I am not tearing that down. Not tearing it down is officially the say of the day. I said say of the day in the first episode and I think I should do it every episode. Future me will put a clip up for you to see. Now you may be wondering, why don't I use an axe? Well that's because punching a tree is the only way to take down a tree. The say of the day. Didn't do it last episode though. I think it's time to get the woolly guacamole done. What's that? I will have my revenge. He escaped. Next episode, I will find and take my revenge on that wolf.